I'm pretty sure that a lot of you remember watching Looney Tunes as a kid. So do I. And my favorite character was Sylvester Cat. Until one night back in the summer of 1998, I saw an episode that rather frightened me. But since the cartoon played late at night, when I should have already gotten to bed, I was half asleep, so I only remember parts of it. Like a creepy TV in Sylvester's room that turned on all of it by itself. I thought maybe it was just a nightmare, but sadly it wasn't. The following summer, me and my brother were bored in the afternoon, so we decided to watch some TV. We flicked to the Cartoon Network, just in time when Looney Tunes was starting. It played two normal episodes featuring Sylvester. Nothing special, except for that one thing. When the second part was coming into its end, me and my brother felt like something wasn't right. We thought that it might be the show a certain episode came on again. And then it happened. This episode didn't have the usual opening, which many of the Looney Tunes segments had. Neither of the catchy title music, it just skipped right to the title screen. No fade or anything, it just switched right there. There was no title written on the screen. Instead it showed the living room of a house. The layouts were drawn entirely with two different colors, blood red and black as emptiness. There wasn't any music either, only the sound that could be heard. During this part where the woman said, directed by... The creepy thing about that was that the audio was used in our country's native language, Hungarian. And this happened way before Cartoon Network started broadcasting cartoons recorded in Hungary. Also, it sounded like the announcer was being really strangled. Once more, the cartoon never faded to the beginning. It simply just switched right there. It shows Sylvester standing in front of something would look like a military base from the Second World War. There wasn't any music or sound there, there either, just dead silence. Sylvester also didn't look like he did in the other cartoons. He looked bruised and badly beaten. His eyes had no pupils. Sylvester didn't even say anything. He just looked really angry. In the next scene, he entered the military base. It was empty. No guards or soldiers were present, but Sylvester still entered. He wanted to get revenge on whoever was inside for what they presumably did to him. So, he decided to sabotage the facility by destroying all the lights hanging from the ceiling. The scene looked very disturbing. While Sylvester was tearing down at each light fixture, his claws grew to a ridiculous size. With every swipe, blood and oil trickled down his hands. The only two audio that could be heard during the scene was the sound of sparkling electricity, which sounded very loud and frightening realistic. The scene was also flashing rapidly, making it appear more and more unnerving and dangerous to anyone who suffers from epilepsy. The entire sequence repeated itself ten times before it cut to the next scene. In the next scene, Sylvester was shown at home, but Granny, Tweety, and Hector were nowhere to be found. He was all alone. His room had appeared empty and surreal. The floor was blood red, and the walls looked like they were on fire. The room contained two tables, a large one that had a toy Dalek and a screwdriver on it, along with a smaller one, which included an ancient TV set facing directly at the viewer. There was also a window in the background, but the beams were misaligned, so it resembled an inverted crucifix. Outside was just a pitch black, not as if it was a night outside, but like if there were literally no existence beyond that window. Sylvester proceeded to repair this toy Dalek with this screwdriver, when suddenly the TV on the smaller table behind him turned on by itself. The camera slowly zoomed out on the TV, which displayed a glitchy input screen. The audio was now consisted of distorted static with white noise, and then seconds later, an image flickered on the television screen. The TV showed an extremely unsettling cartoon. The background music sounded like someone was repeatedly banging his, the keys on the organ. Also, the score was in reverse and played backwards at a low pitch. It started showing Forrest with cartoony moon above it, who had a creepy look on its face. After a few seconds later, it switched to a narrow room. The room itself appeared empty. 
but something could be heard lurking in one of the other room. Whatever it was that made the metallic thumping sound with each step. Five seconds later, it switched on to the other end of the room. Porky Pig was also standing there, also looking angry. He was holding a pistol in his hand. However, he didn't appear bruised like Sylvester did. He said something inaudible to that monster in the other end of the room, then fired a gun a few times. After that, it just cuts to static, and a loud bang was heard. The screen faded to black, and a few seconds later, the screen faded back to Sylvester in his room, standing next to the wreckage of his destroyed TV. He looked even more angry, even more bruised, and his eyes were even dark red this time. The disturbing image of angry Sylvester stayed on the screen for about 10 seconds, then it just went to black. About a half a minute later, Cartoon Network came back on with the normal coming up next bumper.